The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you. Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. Wow. Yeah, the graphics princess, are, are good. Princess. Especially after so we've been playing all those Protocol. Super Not Nintendo like games. Deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but of course got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Not when they're this young. Y'all listen to this part. Your charming bride to be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Oh, tall, my son. Hmm. All right, this is a huge, huge moment in this game. And I want to pause right here because I want to make a very specific comparison. Regis, the king, uh, the father of Noctis, is sending Noctis off on this journey. Now, if you watch Kingsglaive, you know that Noctis is going to marry a princess named Luna Freya. We're not really supposed to know much about her yet in this game. But the words that Regis says to Noctis as he is about to leave are critically important. And I want to share those with you right now. He says to him, um, essentially, walk tall, my son. Walk tall, my son. And that's the last phrase that he says to him. Just before that, he says things uh, to, to the extent of uh, take care on the long road. Remember that the line of Lucis goes with you. When I first watched this or first played this, I mean, we're talking seconds into the game, right? I was reminded of a passage straight from the Old Testament book of Joshua, chapter 1, between verses 6 and 9. I want you to listen to these similarities. It's when God says to Joshua, who's taking over for Moses, who had been the leader of the Israelite people for like 40 years. Here's what it says. God says to him, Be very strong and courageous, for you will be the one to help this people take possession of the land which I pledge to give their ancestors. So be strong and courageous as you obey all all the law that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Don't deviate it uh, from it to the left or to the right, not even a bit. Then you will succeed wherever you may go. Don't stop speaking this instruction scroll, but recite it day and night and carefully obey everything written on it. Then you will accomplish your objectives and you'll succeed. Then he says, I've commanded you to be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Man, I love that passage, especially when you take it in context of this. Regis says, the line of Lucis, the line of kings behind you will be with you wherever you go. And it's so similar to what God says to Joshua right there. And it's just a precursor before the king stuff of the Old Testament happens. It's a precursor to all the narrative that's coming.